And we're underway with six of WWE's top superstars going at it. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see if these two teams of three can really coexist. When you have that many egos on the same team, sometimes things don't go quite as planned. Separate your shoulder, that'll divorce it. What a stomp! Good grief! Beautiful technique. Spinning kick to the gut. You gotta believe this one's over. Ooh, what impact. She's taking on some offense here. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. Yeah, but we all know that she can dish it out just as well as she can take it. And with that in mind, I wouldn't be surprised to see her turn the tides here short. She certainly hasn't looked impressive here tonight, guys, but it's still early and things can turn around on a dime here in WWE. I got right to the gut. What a stomp. Good grief. Spinning kick in the gut. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute our double team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring. But if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, Damn. your trio will be in good shape. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Oof. Look out. There she goes. She is on fire. Down to the floor. She's looking wobbly, guys. And I assure you, the hazards outside the ring are very, very real. This is a bad situation. Looking defenseless right now. She's got to get back in the ring, Michael. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. Sending a message to the entire locker room with that win. I don't care how many wins you have, whenever your hand is raised in victory, a certain level of excitement washes over you. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead.